what's up? The name is Gently One, and welcome to another episode of Torchlight Extras. And before I begin, I would like to send a quick shout out to the crew at Playclaw for making their recorder not very stable. It crashed on me. Like, I didn't crash the game. Playclaw crashed on me. And so now we have to do the fourth hatch quest because the third one in about half an hour's worth of video got deleted. Or it wasn't deleted, it was completely worthless because the program crashed and I didn't notice it. I suppose it's halfway my fault, but still, and that is a nice weapon. It requires a really high level. I don't care. We're side questing, let's do this. Hmm. Me and the loading screen are becoming really good friends. That's not a good thing. I think the mods just slow it down, but... Speaking of mods, finally got a potion stack size mod. That's very nice, so now I don't have to have like five stacks of potions. Let's see. Double staircase. This is back to the crypt the tile set. It's not very interesting. Skeleton on skeleton. Courtesy of my pet. No. Enemies are everywhere. Must be prepared for unforeseen consequences. Whoa, fire. I've not seen any of those yet in the game. You run, run destroyer. Weapon rack. Mysterious mace. Nice. Unidentified item. Let's identify it. Let's see. What button is that on? Eight. Rock grotesque. Weaker than either item that I own. That is a lot better armor, but I can't equip it anyways. Way to go. Isn't my luck just amazing? Lag. Ah, uh, special map action. Because I know I can run this game perfectly, so that's not the cause of lag spikes. It's just that the game system itself can handle quite a bit of what they pull off. But it at least makes sense, like when... About 10 NPCs die in one attack or something. It can be kind of hard for the game. It's whatever to keep up. So it does make sense, but it makes it no less annoying when I lag, lag spike after destroying a big group of people and leave the half a group. And that had no reasoning behind it right there. I got randomly lagged out. I have no idea. All I know is it's not my fault. Because Battlefield 3 argues otherwise. Chest. And it's not going to eat me. That's always a nice thing when your treasure chests aren't going to eat you. It's like, I need loot. Let's open this. No, my ow. That would suck if that was they had that in Borderlands, wouldn't it? Come on. Okay. Ow. Why, why would my pet attack the exploding barrel I was right by? Back it up. Okay. Ranged attack, crossbow at the ready. Shoot him, shoot him, go, go, go. Get out of range. Switch on this. Okay. Hit him in the back. Backstab, go, go. No criticals. But hey. Attack rapidly. My pet is also overpowered. No, don't attack me. Oh, he's weak. Your fame has increased. Your fame has increased. There's a shield. I haven't seen a shield in a long while, actually. Ting, 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 eight, eight, ting, 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 oh, I haven't identified the plate, lime scale plate, my homunculus plates are still better, I'm gonna sell the giant ones because I don't need them yet, skill up, why should I throw skill points in, 60 points is really nice, but then again with how much how much time I spend dying, I might as well go and nab the more adventure. I need adventure at about like 10 to be able to make up for all the losses I get when I get in bad situations. Like in the lost footage that Play Call lost me. Yeah, I'm not going to let that go, guys. Sorry. It's like I had a bad experience with that in the Advent Rising Let's Play when I lost that whole 10 minute section. This just lost me for 30 minutes of gameplay. And I don't like not letting you guys who actually bother to come and watch my videos not get to see everything and that just really annoys me that I lost that because the program shut off randomly no idea enemies Bam. 
failing goals. I do like how you get to have the superpower of the walls. It's very nice to find enemies. Chest. I don't like the chests that look like that. I don't trust them because I'm pretty sure they're going to eat me. Because they usually do want to eat me. Let's see. Chain boots of brains. Yes. Is this. No, this isn't. I can't. Oh, I can't equip that. Requires level 17. Nice. Wow. I don't want. That's too overpowered. I should really get rid of that double two handed damage, whatever mod. It's Your too overpowered. I just don't like seeing it. But they were kind of weak. It does make at least a little sense. But like, it's one of those things that's good in theory, but in practice it's way too bad. It's just not even. No! See, look at that. I got dominated. It's because the side quests are harder than the main dungeon, because the main dungeon has a specific, like, preset level. Whoa. Meanwhile, the side quest dungeons will scale with me. So I'm getting owned by people equal to me. See? Level 15, level 15. They're exactly on your level, but you can just out level people on the main quest you can't out level people here but you can still just drop them like it's nobody's business like you know what I mean bear 50 caliber cross map headshot stuff no get out get out okay oh god I don't like this sniper no flee flee no don't kill that okay Oh snap. Now we fight like men. Good thing I have vampirism. He keeps blocking my attacks. Makes me kinda wish I had gone with a something that's not dual wielding. Oh. Gone with a non dual wielding spec. Is I guess would be the terminology. Ew. But hey, dealing so much damage is always nice. I was worrying he's going to go, my pack is full. My pack is not almost full. Well, it seems I picked up a spell. What do we got? Heal all three. 367. Some flaming sword two, some flaming sword two. Fireball. Heal self two. Let's see what heal all three has. Heal all three is overpowered. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to heal all three and uh, control and left click so I now have a slot. And my pet. Oh, wrong button. So that's worthless. All vendor trash. So just bang, bang, bang. Oh, wait, hold up. I wanna keep those. Okay. And spells. Sell them in town later. But for now, we must. The lie! What just happened? Now you can see why I need that experience fame booster because of the adventure. This keeps happening. It wouldn't ever happen in the main quest. It's just here. Oh. This is, I was like, why is there randomly a lever laying there? not just a random lever, it's a dual-sided lever. You have to get the one on the other side to complete the circuit or something. Whatever that would be hitting the two levers causes. Yeah, it raises this bridge. Never mind. But then you hit the other one and something happens and range attack. Bam. Why are there just random at least? Eh. Why are there randomly spawning skeletons everywhere? There we go. That's proper English. I'm having no trouble with it there. No, back away. Okay. Heal all. Oh, great. Champion. Lol is overpowered. It's got a much larger cooldown time. That was a little difficult. 
think I almost lost a significant chunk of my experience and fame again. That's never fun. Probably shouldn't be playing on hard difficulty if I can't handle it, but at least it makes things a little more exciting than it was on easy or normal, because easy and normal, you just walk over everybody quite literally, because they're all just dead. You just storm over the corpses. It's almost hilarious, except it's just so boring. I don't trust this. I was right. Look, even when they're scaled my level, though, they're a little too easy. I don't trust this one. Oh. So say I don't trust this one either, but it was okay. So this has been Jet Leon, and I will see you as we do the next floor on the next part of this video. Or this two-parter video. Yeah, whatever. I'm an idiot. Bye-bye.